carbon dioxide, not just a waste gas. When I first came across functional breathing patterns, I started breathing in and out through my nose and really slowing down and softening my breathing to the point of air hunger. Within a few minutes, the temperature of my fingers increased. And why would that have happened? Before that, I constantly had cold hands, cold feet, had brain fog, etc. If you breathe too hard and fast, you can get rid of too much carbon dioxide from the blood through the lungs. And even though many of us believe that oxygen is good and carbon dioxide is bad, it's not so black and white. Carbon dioxide plays a number of very important functions within the human body. And it's very important that we breathe a volume of air that allows normal carbon dioxide in the blood and lungs. Because it's the volume of air that you breathe that determines carbon dioxide in the lungs. And it's the pressure of carbon dioxide in the lungs that determines the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. So what happens if you do breathe too hard? So if I asked you to take 10 full big breaths in and out through your mouth, you are going to remove quite an amount of carbon dioxide from the blood through the lungs. And as you do so, your blood vessels will constrict. And in addition to that, there will be a left shift of the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. So hemoglobin, which is a protein within the red blood cells, that's the main carrier of oxygen. So much so that 98.5% of your oxygen is carried bound by hemoglobin. When you hyperventilate and you remove too much carbon dioxide from the blood through the lungs, hemoglobin holds on to oxygen too strong. And as a result, hemoglobin is not going to release oxygen to where it's needed throughout the body. So there is a myth out there that the more you breathe, the more oxygen that's delivered throughout the body. Now, that's not correct. The more air you breathe relative to your metabolic needs, the less oxygen that's delivered throughout the body, the more your blood vessels constrict. And not only that, but it dries up blood pH. We as human beings, blood pH should be in around 7.365. If the blood is too acidic to 6.8, we die. And if the blood is too alkaline to 7.8, we die. So the human body is always looking to strive or to attain homeostasis. So what is carbon dioxide? That gas that we produce internally. We're not breathing so much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the lungs. Carbon dioxide is a byproduct of our metabolism, but it's the volume of air that we breathe that determines carbon dioxide in the blood. And it's the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood that influences your blood circulation, that influences oxygen delivery, and that influences your blood pH. Don't think of carbon dioxide as just being a waste gas. Look up any textbook on respiratory physiology and check out the physiology as it pertains to carbon dioxide. Because too often, individuals are breathing hard and they're breathing fast because they believe more oxygen is being delivered throughout the body. That's not the case.